five months ago, Sam Tucker bought a premium cat bed for Gypsy that he spent money on. And yet, despite massive encouragement, Gypsy refused to sleep in the comfortable premium cat bed that Sam paid money for. Instead, choosing to sleep on computers, PlayStations, Sam's head. Until one day, she slept in the cat bed. Cool story, bro. In cinemas today. Shaboom! And it's time for another Funky Monday video. We get updates from you, me, and everything funky. Now, I'm trying a new microphone setup today. Hello. Uh, so that I can record outside without having to be so close to the camera. I know you'd like to always have my face close up, and so would I, so I could see it in the little monitor there. But you can't always have that, and hopefully there's no wind noise either. If there is wind noise, then Tote soz, but hash brown deal with it. Oh my God, New Walking Dead today. I can't wait to watch that tonight. Hopefully just like Funny or Die, they decide to kill off Carl this season. If you're wondering why I'm a little anti-Carl, I did make a whole song and dance about it. Carl, you shut up, stop giving me grief, but now you shut up. You keep hanging around, cramping my style. Your dad needs to be alone once in a while. With me, show. Hey, celebrate the return of The Walking Dead by watching Carl You Shut Up Again and, and share it with your friends and buy it on iTunes. Oh, and in last week's How to Speak Like Rick Grimes, B.S. Shapiro asked, what are we overcompensating for? Well, it's for having such a small-minded son. Let's get some community news. Oh no, that hurts so much. 29,999 subs, you can do this, sir. One more sub needed. Banana! And yes, we did do it. Busted right through that 30,000 subscriber mark. Well done and thank you guys. Oh my God, I see some awesome stuff in the future. And also, you guys are having some pretty awesome Zimbabwe war game suggestions from last video. I like the cool suggestions like an anti-logic card and eight ball and a robot toy deciding things. And keep your suggestions for the rules coming in in the comments. Uh, just check out last week's video for all the details. Oh, and by the way, Severus Snape said that he suggested using dice ages ago and that I threw him in jail for it. But I checked the records and they and they say, they say nah ah. So uh, for speaking against the Pope, that's another five days in Funkatrace. Also last week as an Apple fanboy, I was a bit in turmoil by the big Microsoft Surface Book announcement. And like Nusant says, it's overpriced and thin and has limited ports. No, they're reaching us. But don't worry anyone, I won't be making the switch soon. I am secretly waiting for the William Waffle scenario, where in a year's time Apple will invent the I Surface Book. Alec wrote out a full commercial on it if you're interested. Read it all? Good. Now I was going to post the first batch of Patriot packs with handwritten notes, billions of Zimbabwean dollars and cool cool badges uh, to all the awesome funky monkeys supporting me on Patreon.com except uh, when I went to the post office I apparently have to fill in a, a declaration form for each individual letter because uh, to prove I'm not a terrorist. Though if I were a terrorist, I probably wouldn't fill in the form properly now, would I? But, oh well. So hopefully later this week. But if you want to support the show, get episodes early, billions of Zimbabwe dollars and awesome badges, then just head over to patreon.com forward slash samtime and become a funky patriot. Speaking of which, longtime funky patriot Brett James has just settled his town on Zimbabwe, which is another thing that you get uh, for being a patriot. So, you know what? We, we, we better go visit it. Elevator to Zimbabwe. Why does it go down? I took a stroll to the majestic goat land, the place to go to see goats. They have a wonderful corner store where you can buy a sandwich, milk, or even a cheeky VHS. A wonderful holiday spot for locals where you really experience their town motto, you goat to be a goat. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful place to visit. But now it's time for this week's Certified Funky Stamp of Approval, which this week goes to Alec Ferugia Cashier for running that huge Apple commercial parody. It was great. Or at least I think it was. I, I didn't read it all. It was quite big. Oh, let's throw an egg! Oh, back in the elevator. Yes, each week that someone wins a Certified Funky Stamp of Approval, we throw an egg in their name at the elusive stump. And if we hit the stump, they win themselves a Sam Time T-shirt, available at tershirt.com. Oh, let's throw an egg! Kill that shrinking! Oh, I should reply. Oh no, sorry there Alec, we didn't quite make it that time. We 
trust me, I have hit the stump before, okay guys? Just that time I think I got distracted because I thought the, the neighbor was watching. Better luck next time. Remember, if you have cool rules for the uh, Zimbabwe war games, leave them in the comments of this video or in last Funky Monday video and I'll uh, pick some of them soon and we could all then go to battle in good fun. Good chat. Remember, escape the ordinary, embrace the funky, and until next time, this is Sam Tucker saying, stay funky, everyone. It's Sam time, signing off. Subscribe today. Funk it down. Shaboom. Hi, I'm Sam Tucker, and welcome to another Funky Monday. Yes, yes, okay. And yes, we did do it. Busted out that 300, whoops, no, just 30,000. Dang, I was getting home. We get episodes early. Awesome Zimbabwe cash and badges. Then you could become a funky patriot at patreon.com forward slash bar bar bar. Let's throw an egg. But believe me, check a few episodes back, well, probably a while back. I have actually hit the stamp. Dryland is not a myth, I have seen it. Speaking of which, speaking of which, <laughs> bar, bar.